Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shireen aka Asher and guys, I am back with another video. And in today's video, guys, I'll be sharing a story time, my story time on my COVID-19 experience. Yes, guys, I had COVID and how I got through it. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I go about if you guys are interested in hearing my story, not go about, because I say, I say this so often when I'm doing a video, I, I'm saying it again. If you're interested in hearing my story, stay tuned. Okay guys, so you may be wondering what I'm talking about. Yes, I had an I encounter or an experience with COVID and at the end of the video, guys, I want to tell me, I want you to tell me what you think happened to me, if it's COVID or if it wasn't COVID. All right, so it started like this, and all of this took place in February of 2021, right here. Um, all right, so I was going to work one morning. So to go to work, I have to go up three staircases um, on the third floor. So I realized when I'm going to work, when I'm climbing the stairs, I am getting really tired. So the next day when I went to work, I felt more tired so I felt a little more tired and then the third day um, I realized that when I got to the top of the stairs I was extremely tired and I'm having short days of breath like I was and I was like oh my god what is happening why I'm so tired sometimes I probably need exercise and all of that all right so I did not go to work the next day because the first day I felt tired, the second day I was having shortness of breath, but it wasn't that bad. And then the third day I was having shortness of breath a little, it got a little worse. So I, I, on the third day when I was at work, I was shampooing a client here. Mind you, in that time, we're all in our mask practicing or, you know, wash hands and wearing our mask and all of that for COVID. You know, you know the drill. So I was shampooing this client here and while well, scrubbing the hair and she she said something to me. I was answering when I was answering, I was like I was gapping for ear and I was like, what is happening? But I didn't want her to know what is happening. So I tried to just talk normal, but I was struggling to breathe. Alright, so I went home and I didn't go to work the following day. When I came home I am still having the shortness of breath, but it wasn't all that bad. When it got to in the night, I don't know what transpired in the night, but when it get to night, I started feeling worse. So I went to my bed and then this feeling just came over me and I was like to my daughters, why me feel like this? Why me feel so? So when I lay down there, I was lying on my back. So I'm laid on my back, you know, guys, all of a sudden, I just started to feel this whole heap of pain, you know. I started feeling a lot of pain in my back, in my chest, and in my sides. Um, it got so, so, so bad that when I laid on my back, I could not move. I couldn't move. My fist is still, so I can't shift. And like me, I said, no. So I called to my daughter and I said, Chevalier, Come here, me can't move. For those who don't know, part one, me can't move. I cannot move. And then she run come. The both of them run come, run, run come to, my, to me. And then no, I tried to turn on my side. Guys, me can't move. It's like me, I cannot move. The pain is so, so severe. So it kind of ease off a little bit. And then me try to turn on my side when i turn on my side i feel a little bit better and then the side part start to hurt again and my traffic turn again a pure pain you know me can't move 
then he ease off a little bit and then we try to turn on the next side and I said no man something wrong something is wrong I have to stick to one side so I can't move or I stick to the other side so I can't even I can't I could not even stretch my foot out really I couldn't stretch out my foot I feel like I'm crippled in my bed I felt like I was crippled in my bed and I said no man and I was trying to ease up but I couldn't get up so the two girls placed Chevalier, the bigger one she put her hand behind my back and she hold my hand like this and the other one hold my next hand and both of them tried to pull me up but you know them small and they're not really so strong they couldn't pull me up so I said to myself say, you know what I say, I go get up even though the pain terrible guys I feel chest pain I feel back pain, side pain then may I have the shortness of breath and the shortness of breath was very bad now, you know, very, very bad. So I was like, <sighs> and I started sweating. And I said to myself, like I said to myself, Lord Jesus, I wonder if I COVID, that is what I said to myself. So I remember watching some videos on YouTube and hearing persons talking about COVID and they said that in the night it is worse and you're not supposed to lay on your back. I remember that so I try to not lay down on my back no more because I wonder if I COVID. I don't know if it was COVID, but I was wondering. So I said, I call the church, the two of them beside me, we hold hands and we start to pray. And I tell you guys, I pray, I hold it on my side, so I rebuke the pain in Jesus' name, and I rebuke, and I rebuke. And so I rebuke, so the pain, like the pain, I move in my body, you know. And then, one at a time, I scream out to all the pain hot. And I said, God, I'm dead. I said, God, dead. I said, God, you can't make me dead yet. You can't make me dead yet because I promise, you promised me say you are going to make me live to take care of my mother. I'm going to take care of my mother yet. And guys, the two little girls hold me and I said, one, we count to three. And I could have just pull up, so ease up. When I ease up, I scream out again because the pain terrible. And at that time, guys, I started sweating and I feel... But guys, what I think really helped me, um, I don't know, for those of you who don't, um, are not familiar with my channel, you guys are supposed to know that I um, have endometriosis and I did a video on that and I also did a video on how I changed my diet. And trust me guys, I think the changing of my diet is what helped my body is what helped my body to fight whatever was going on in my body you know i started eating a lot of greens and started drinking a lot of green juice every morning i drink like turmeric tea ginger tea all of them something beer my day just changed my diet completely and and guys i eased up i want to scream and i eased up um, it took me a long time to ease off the bed and it took me a while to walk from my room to the living room Because like a voice said to me I should go into the living room and sit up So I remember those from the videos on YouTube. So I went into the living room took some pillows and um, Placed them behind my back to stay upwards and that was how I felt a little better and then I leaned my head like this um, onto the side of the sofa and tried to sleep and it was very 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 uncomfortable Tori come and check this for me, please It was very very uncomfortable guys and that was how I stayed there and slept until in the morning In the morning no guys in the morning in the morning stay there stay in the morning no guys I felt a little better. I don't know what happened when it come tonight, but in the morning, I felt a little bit better. So I called my brother and I said, I have to go to the doctor. At this time now, my body felt sore, like inside of me sore up, you know. I could breathe a little bit better in the morning. So my brother came and I could not drive. So he drove me to Mandeville and I went to Hargreaves Hospital. I could hardly walk down the stairs to go into the vehicle as i said i could not drive so it was so bad guys that inside of me felt sore so when the when he's driving he had to drive very very slowly um if the van if the vehicle kind of go into a little pothole or run over a little stone or any little jerking trust me guys i felt it 
all over my body because it's like my body was so sore my body was sore so he had to drive slowly and each time the van go over a little bump i say take time take time take time that was how bad it was when i went over there and i was explaining to the doctor and telling the doctor everything the doctor said to me he is um they sent me to do some tests and i did so many tests guys i have all the test papers here that I did so there you go I have some papers that I did some tests right I did chest x-ray I did back x-ray I did an ECG the whole works all right then the doctor sent me to do a COVID test hmm. so when I went to do the test I was sitting there and I said oh Jesus I wonder if a COVID may have all right, guys, the doctor said he's a hundred percent sure I have COVID. Um, so when me do everything, so I'm saying me do the test, him say he's hearing something on my chest, like something is there. He's saying, like, I have what do you call it now? What name? Pneumonia. I said, Pneumonia. Anyways, I did the test, guys, and I waited for the test. After I did the test, I waited for the test. The test came back, like about half an hour so i sat there and waited for the test results when the nurse was doing the test she's all geared up in her gloves how much she face shield and everything she asked me how i feel i told her how i was feeling she said oh god lord jesus and she said it's gonna be uncomfortable she said i should sit back and she said i should just relax and she's gonna insert something up into my nose and it's gonna feel uncomfortable you know what it works but those who did tests already and I did that and I just told her to get it over so I just shut my eyes and she just did it and I waited the results and guess what guys I got the results and I took it back to the doctor the same day when I took it back to the doctor the results was negative hear me the results was negative so the doctor was like this can be he was like no this can be something something is wrong so guys I I was wondering what was wrong anyways he went ahead and he gave me some medications things that you would give a person who have COVID he gave me the same things and he says it's COVID is either I'm getting over it or recovering from it or what but he's the results came back negative and there was this there's this girl that I did a live on my Instagram and we were talking about COVID and we were talking about the vaccine who if persons are going to take it and if they're going to allow their child or children to take the vaccine for back to school and one particular particular young lady came on and she said she and two persons had COVID in her household and she did the test twice at the same place and the results came back negative so a big question i am wondering if the tests are conclusive i'm not sure guys you can comment and tell me if you have any experience like that but my test result came back negative her test results was done twice and it came back negative also i'm sorry don't leave all right guys so yes so after after all of that i got some meds and i came home and at that time you know i wasn't working i stopped from work so i could not breathe properly if i tried to inhale like take a deep breath i could not take a deep breath i would have to cut my breathing short and i would have to cough but i didn't have any fever and i didn't have any loss for taste nor anything like that it was just the shortness of breath, the pain in my chest, in my back and in my side. Alright, so when I started taking the meds, I gradually started to breathe a little bit better. And the pain gradually started to subside. And then it took a little time for me to can take an inhale and take a deep breath without. When I inhale and take the deep breath, like so, I felt the pain in my back and in my side, you know. And then after taking what he gave me, all of that went. All of that went. And then 
um, I could breathe freely again without coughing or anything of the sort. So yes, guys, that's my story. And what I want to ask you guys, what do you think was happening to me? All right, guys, so at this point, you know, guys, I'm worried about my daughters because, you know, they say that when you have COVID, you should isolate yourself. You're not to come in contact with nobody and you know, all like you're in a quarantine. And me and my two daughters live and guys, nothing happened to them. Nothing happened to them. And after I got back from the doctor, still I have the shortness, I still can't walk. Still, I have the shortness, still can't breathe properly. My fur walk and I hold my chest like this. Guys, may I tell you, it feel like, may I tell you how it feel. It feel like something there right here. So, no, right on my throat here. So, something just black off your breathing. Like, something lock off your breathing. Yo, me, yo, me don't know how to explain it to you guys. But trust me, it was not good. It wasn't good. And I tried walking around a little bit my try say me i do exercise it sometimes me try for walk around after me, after i start taking the medication me try to start walk around the house a little bit me I take my time and me feel hold my chest on so me feel hold right here so me feel hold and me take my little time and then sometimes me have to stop because it, the breathing was too much you know so me keep on walking and holding here so me hold it and then I kept seeing me, guys. It was not a good experience. It wasn't a good experience. And guys, with all of that, nothing happened to my kids. So what was happening to me? Do you think I do you think it was COVID or what? I really, really believe that it was COVID because those are the symptoms of the wave that was present at the time when I do it because there are three waves and that was what transpired to, on me or to me or yes that was what transpired and comment down below guys and tell me what do you think was happening to me also guys uh, remember to like if you like the video remember to give the video a thumbs up Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and don't be afraid to comment guys spam the comment section with your comments and let me know your thoughts let me know if you have any experience like what i had and let me know just about what you think about the video so guys until my next video you can also comment guys and let me know if you have taken your vaccine already i haven't taken my vaccine i'm skeptic about the vaccine and i i i am so doubtful about it i'm reading up on it some more let me know if you're going to take the vaccine if you will allow your child to take the p pfizer vaccine to go back to school all right guys so until my next video i'm out guys stay safe stay protected bye guys